Hell yeah, this looks amazing. What is up? My name is Aaron. Welcome to my channel. What is up? My name is Aaron. Welcome to my channel. What is up? What is up? It's Aaron. You know, I thought it was gonna be really easy to make a video every week, and then like all of a sudden now it's Thursday morning and I haven't filmed most of this. Time management. Today we're doing something different, but I decided to make it into a video because Why not? I have this philosophy in my brain. Should I call it a philosophy? That sounds very official. I kind of came to this realization a long time ago that a YouTuber should be able to make anything interesting. So today we're gonna be solving a murder. Shouldn't be hard to make that interesting, right? If you're new here, remember to click subscribe and then the bell next to it so that you're notified whenever I make a video. I'm trying to make videos every Friday right now. Also, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Community! Cue we're all in this together by High School Musical. Has anyone else needed like a lot more coffee during quarantine? I feel like my brain can't focus on something for more than like 14 seconds and it's really annoying. Anyway, today we're doing something that was brought to you by TikTok. My roommate Hayden bought this game called Unsolved Case Files and it's basically like a big unsolved case and you have to figure out what the f is up, Kyle. What the f is up, Kyle? You have to figure out what's going on. She saw it on TikTok and then she bought it on Amazon and then it got here on Monday. It said it was gonna take about three hours. We were like, oh, pfft. We got this, like we're so smart, like we'll be able to get through this thing in an hour and a half. And it took us almost four, so. But we did it, we proved the innocence of this man. We figured out who actually killed this woman. So today we're gonna solve a murder. If you like this video and then you're like, oh my God, this would be so fun. I think they have other ones, Hayden said. So you can, you can watch this video and then still buy a different unsolved case file. But if you're solving Harmony Ashcroft's murder, don't. Don't watch this. Don't watch it. Or watch it, but then just don't get mad at me. I think the TikTok trends are really interesting. I'm still slowly getting into TikTok, hesitantly. For a long time, I was really not a fan, and I think it's because I'm old now. When it started coming out, and it was like mostly just for dancing videos and like fake music videos, like I was just like really salty because I'm now the crotchety old man that's like, back in my day, 10 years ago, when we wanted to do this, you had to actually like download an editing software and like learn how to edit a video and then put it on YouTube and then put like work into it. And now kids are just like dancing in front of a phone and getting a million views. So I was really salty about that. But honestly, it just comes from a place of wishing that we had TikTok when I was younger. Maybe I would be in the fucking hype house. I don't know. But it's growing on me now. Now, it's filling the void that Vine left. Like, I miss Vine a lot, so TikTok has been helping to fill that hole in my heart. But also, I just really need to put it out there that I think it's hysterical that everybody is making TikTok coffee. It's literally just Greek coffee. That's how they make, like, iced frappuccino coffees in Greece. That's the tea. Whatever, all right, let's solve a murder. <laughs> This is what we're doing on our Wednesday evening. We have our bottle of two buck chuck. Really warm. Just like our apartment. Yeah, it's really hot today now. So you found this on TikTok because you're addicted to TikTok now. Yep. I'm I'm not uh, ashamed to admit it. I mean I'm getting it's there. It's my life now. Basically, the prompt of the game is that you're looking at an old case where this man was put away for the murder of Harmony and you're trying to prove that he's innocent. I got sticky notes. We have supplies. <laughs> she she did. She did. Oh, did. Oh, it has an inventory list. I think it's like if you're missing stuff, you go online and submit your answer once you figure it out. Oh, that's how you do it? Yeah, that's what it said. They that's like cool. go to this website. So that you really have to work to cheat. You really have to like actively really give up try. and say, all right, I'm done. I got it on Amazon and I bought it at 1 a.m. Sober? <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I was on my TikTok downward spiral. She was murdered, right? Should we, Should we like take notes or something? Should I just pour the whole bottle right now? No, we should face ourselves. We can't get sloppy. We have to solve a murder. Okay. We have to prove the innocence of this poor man. What if he's not innocent? What if that's the She place? was murdered on her wedding day. Because this is May 8th, 1998. And this is her wedding. Why is she dressed like that? Oh, it was a rehearsal dinner. That's what it was. Uh, Harmony and Christian. Who's her boyfriend? This is her soon to be okay. husband. I bet it was him. <laughs> Wait, yeah, do you want to make any guesses? Based <laughs> solely off the fact that she was going to get married to him, I bet it was. As they say in all the crime shows, it's always the boyfriend. I'm going to go for the lumberjack. Dare I don't actually know who the other people are. Mm, mm. That is some hot wine. That's a very rich. $2 bottle that kind of tastes like blood. Oh, there's a front and the back. There's so much reading. We should do the reading part now before <laughs> and get we... it over with. All right, we'll check in with you after we do our homework. Mm -hmm. 
She was a catcher on a softball team. <laughs> or maybe the, the fiance found out she was a lesbian and oh, well, maybe it's in the top and he was like, you can't. <laughs> okay, so it definitely happened after the reception dinner because that's where they were eating. And, and she was found in the parking lot, yeah. The restaurant worker went out to take out the garbage and found her body. She went out with him, with the fiance, to go get presents out of the car or something. He said that he left because they like left something at home. Peterson like claims he drove home for forgotten presents and left Harmony alone in the parking lot where someone else must have attacked her. I don't get why you would forget your own presence at your rehearsal dinner. Like suspicious. that doesn't make sense to me. Very but suspicious. also I've never been married, so I don't know how this works I'm gonna, single. I'm would you ever let your wedding invitation look like that? No, mm -mm. that, that would not be released. The wedding would be canceled. I guess it was 1998. So he said that he was going home at this time. Oh, that's not far. Seems about two miles. Maybe four and a half. Okay, so this is where they found bones with the ring. Bones? Bones. Oh. <laughs> I was like, they bashed your skull in. Why did they find bones? It was in Grant Park. His name is Bones. Imagine if you were the, the girl and then everybody in, like had your picture in their house now. And Should we frame it after this? Dead one. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that we have to know anything about the fact that she was an athlete or her academic success? I read all about her, how she volunteers and shit, all this random great. stuff. Great, so she was a great person. Of course she was. And she was still murdered. It happened. Karma isn't real. Oh, University of Chicago on a full athletic scholarship? Okay, you so go, maybe bitch. someone was like jealous of her. Talk of the town. I just can't get over the fact that it's Riverdale. Miracle <laughs> Static. <laughs> He drove, he drives a Land Rover. Mmm, the boyfriend, fiance. I mean, we're like single now, so. What, what's this little smudgy smudge? Is that on purpose? That it just shows how sloppy they are. Clearly, I mean, there was a contaminated crime scene. Who's Jenny Rogers? The best friend. Wait, okay, why does he list her as someone that can confirm his whereabouts when it happened? Because they were having an affair. Oh, did you already find it out? No. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say that. So maybe it's not him that murdered yeah, maybe, her. maybe there's a He's suspect on the run. a shitty fiance who cheated on her with her best friend. Suspicious. I'm gonna write up there. Wait, let me see oh. that map. There's a news article about a traffic detour. Oh. I would love if they were like, oh, there's Acorn Street. Due to the construction that began on Gates Street. I guess that doesn't actually mean anything. I thought that was gonna be a break. Hey, it could, it could, it could come back. Yeah, what is that circle? It's That's like, like a, a coffee, coffee ring. I think it's supposed to be like, Sloppy. It's like a, it's a case. William McBride, is that Bones? I guess, I'll, yeah. I'll read his okay. file. Wait, these are really intense. I know, this is a real case, dude. Trying to be more organized than the policeman who got coffee rings all over our documents. Oh, let's, look at, let's look at her autopsy. Skull fracture. She's an average 28 year old. To the right eye. Really Extensive good, skull fracture and severe hemorrhaging over the right eye socket. So she was hit with something really hard. Yeah, what do you think it was? Probably a rock or a pipe or a shovel. Ooh, the murderer would need to be a left-handed or an ambidextrous man or woman. At least it's this man or woman. She's got weird guys that are interested in her, a stalker and a Debbie dad. We gotta talk to Cheryl, her manager. She looks like a Cheryl. This is like the most oh, basic stock photo. Stock photo. <laughs> Literal stock photo of Cheryl. Cheryl Pratt. That's gonna be us in like 30 minutes. I would just like to say that this game really is hitting hard on the poor black folk. He has no home, he has no address, he has no license, he has no phone number, he has too many arrests to list, he has several theft convictions. We interrupt this video for an important conversation. I did think that it was very interesting that it was four white guys and one black guy and the one black guy who was homeless and had no job and had no car was wrongfully convicted and we were trying to prove his innocence. It hit a little bit too close to home. Um, in America, especially right now, if somehow you didn't hear about the jogger in Georgia who was literally murdered for going on a run, I'll put the petition down below. Okay, firstly, I wanna 
I want to make sure that everyone has heard about what's happened in Georgia with Ahmad Arbery. He was literally out for a run in his neighborhood and was shot by a, a horribly racist father and son. Now, the fact that he was shot, whereas I will never have to worry about that while going out and going on a run, just very simply, that is racism. I don't want to downplay the the horrible racial stereotypes that came into play in this game. Like, I think it's very important that everybody's aware that it's really up that this game has one black character and he's homeless has no job has a lot of convictions all of these things um, are constantly reinforcing these like horrible dangerous stereotypes and i think that it's important that everyone thinks about that while you're watching this video but the point of this video was not to delve into the problems with the legal system or the problems with racial inequality that's a very very loaded subject that i would really need to like formulate my thoughts on a lot more and do a lot more research about before filming anything and putting that online. Just wanted to take a second to make sure that everybody is aware about what's going on in the world right now because it's really, really important that you know what's going on and stand up for this like horrific injustice. I wanted to make sure that nobody was really thinking that I was downplaying or laughing at the, the horrible stereotypes in this game. I was just like dumbfounded how nobody in this company like realized that this is kind of problematic. I'm, I'm gonna put some links down below. Make sure you check out the article about Ahmad. Let's make the world a little bit better. Okay. All right, cool, that's it. Someone put a ring on right in my hand while I was sleeping or one of the police put it on me. Oh, it was planted, mm -hmm. the evidence. That would make sense. I mean, unless he, mm -hmm. unless he did it. But don't you think that he would take more than just like the ring? I wouldn't kill someone and then be like, let me just take their ring, especially if I was like, Homeless, I'd be like, let me take their wallet. Anything of value. If that was the mo the motive, you know, things are not adding up. So we are kind of going in circles. I think it's been about an hour. We think we solved it. We phoned a friend. We have Milo. Attention. <laughs> the drama. Well, we solved why he's innocent, not who the real murderer is. We I swear, um, our guy Bones was at the bar at nine o'clock. <laughs> And he was supposed to leave, because supposedly. He was gonna leave, go find money, and then come back. Cause he's homeless and yeah. sleeps in a park. So the police are like money. saying that he like went over here and like murdered this lady and got her ring for money. Mm -hmm. And then like fell asleep at this park. But if he left here at nine, killed her at 9.30 and came back before 10, doesn't it add up? Because this newspaper article says that the bridge was closed between 8.45 and 9.45 that night. Boom. You think that's why we prove that he is innocent because how would he have gotten across the river? On either count, there's no way he would be able to get across the bridge. I support that. Mm. I think this guy did it. Sir. We think it was a corrupt cop. Kent Grayson. Well, the motive for, for Bones is money because he Kent. needs money for okay. beer. Andy, his motive is just that he loved her and he seemed kind of unstable because he loved her so much and maybe she okay. maybe she right. love him back yeah. and then this dude is like a psycho stalker yes, Rex. Rex. he needed like psychiatric help and he was like please let her help me yes. and then her, her manager was like she only helps children and there's like a call log where he called her like 54, 54 times. times it's also important to note that there was no uber at this time i don't know i think we said we solved it like, there's like three more envelopes what? Yeah, our first task is just prove that he's innocent. Can we have you type it in and see if we're right or not, but yeah. only tell us if we're right or not and not tell us what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good idea. This is a sick game. I'm totally gonna get this. What do the documents prove Bones did not kill Arnie Ashcroft? Map of Riverdale. A newspaper article. Local child psychologist murdered. You did it. <gasps> Bones is innocent. Really? Yes! Yeah. You can now open the envelope marked bonus envelope. Woo! Wow. Uh, Where do we sign up to be detectives? <laughs> all right, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz. If you wanted to buy this game, I'll link it in the description below. It was fun. It was a really cool way to spend an evening. It was really nice because I hadn't used my brain in like two months. I feel like my brain is dissolving and like slowly falling out of my ears. It's Sarkeesh. If there's anything you want to see from me, <laughs> let me know. But I'm gonna go live your life, girl. I will see you guys again next Friday and until then, do it for harmony. What the f- I don't- Goodbye. She looks terrible for her, her wedding dinner. That's a horrible <laughs> outfit to die in too. Where's your dress, sweetie? Pretty tragic that that's what she died in in a Tully's parking lot next to yeah. a Range Rover.